Hi, I'm Brandon, a physical therapist at Heartland Orthopedic Specialists, a department of Douglas County Hospital. Today we're going to be covering approved exercises for our total hip and total knee joint replacement camps. These exercises are important for helping regain strength, range of motion, and reducing symptoms prior to surgery and will help speed up the recovery process after the surgery. If at any point doing these exercises produce sharp, shooting, stabbing pains, please stop doing the exercise and consult a physician or a physical therapist if needed. We're going to start by bringing the toes and the feet up towards the ceiling, push the foot and the toes away from you, and then repeat at a nice quick pace to aid in increasing blood flow, circulation, and helping to reduce your risk of blood clots. Here we're going to start by placing a towel roll directly underneath the knee. We want you to push down into the towel roll, tightening up your thigh muscle. Hold for five seconds, and after the five seconds, then relax, and then repeat. Here we're going to start by squeezing your buttocks together, squeeze nice and tight, hold for five seconds, after the five seconds, then relax. When you're doing this on a firm surface, you should see the hips coming up slightly off of the table. Now we're going to slide our heel up towards the buttocks as far as what you're comfortable and then slide back down holding for five seconds when you get towards the top. Again with this one if you're having difficulty or there's too much friction on the bed sheet underneath the heel feel free to put down a sheet of plastic, a sheet of cardboard or a cookie sheet. For the long arc quads, we're going to be sitting in a chair with your knees back as far as you can get towards the edge of the chair, sitting up nice and tall with good posture, chest up, shoulders back. We're going to kick out the leg, extending at the knee, bringing the foot up towards the ceiling, tightening the thigh muscle and holding for five seconds. For this one, try and keep your foot relaxed as you kick the leg up towards the ceiling. For this exercise, we want to scoot forward towards about the front third of the chair, feet flat on the ground out in front of your knees. You're going to have your arms on the armrests, making sure that you have a chair that has strong arms, also making sure that you're using a chair that does not have wheels on it. You're going to push down through your arms, extending until your elbows go straight, and then back down. Make sure to keep your buttocks hovering above the seat at all times throughout this exercise. For this exercise, we're going to place the foot up on a small stool or box. We're going to be sitting on the front edge of a chair making sure that your knee is able to go into a fully extended position. We want to be sitting up nice and tall, chest up, shoulders back, and as you lean forward we want to make sure that we're hinging at the waist or the hips. We don't want to round the back or the shoulders into this stretch. When it starts to pull in the back of your leg, 
Then we're going to hold for 20 to 30 seconds, making sure that you're breathing comfortably throughout the entire stretch. Make sure that you keep this a comfortable, relaxed stretch. You don't want to be too aggressive with this. After the 20 to 30 seconds, go ahead, lean back, relax, and then repeat. For the straight leg raise, we're going to start with the non-surgical leg being slid up. The surgical leg is going to be straight. We're going to tighten up the lower abdominals again, trying to draw the belly button down towards the table. Tighten up your thigh muscle, keeping your leg as straight as you can, and then lift up about 10 inches off of the table. Hold for the five seconds, and then after the five seconds, again, relax. Keeping your core tight throughout the process, and remembering to breathe throughout the exercise. Now we're gonna scoot forward to the very edge of the chair we're going to put your foot up on the front edge of a stool or an ottoman at the house. We've created a little bit of a gap between your back and the backrest of the chair. And so what we want to do is put in some pillows or cushions to help make sure that you do have some back support. We want you to relax your leg, letting your knee fall down as low as what you're able to get it. You want to make sure that you keep your leg relaxed and your foot relaxed. We don't want your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Keep those relaxed to get a better stretch in the knee. For this exercise, we're gonna hold for 10 minutes. If you wanna do this with a little bit of overpressure, you can also add an ice pack or a little bit of weight to help press down in hopes of regaining full knee extension. For the side lying leg lift, we're going to be laying on the non-surgical side. We want to be creating a straight line from the shoulder, through the hip, and through the foot. Now, if you have some problems with being unsteady in this position, go ahead and bend the bottom leg to help make your body a little more stable. Keep the core nice and tight. We're going to tighten up the thigh muscle and lift your leg up towards the ceiling, hold, and then back down again. Now as you do this, make sure that your foot stays pointing straight forward or down. We don't want the toe pointing up towards the ceiling. Also, make sure that your hip does not roll backwards. Try and keep that hip rolled forward throughout the exercise. 